Richard's <laughs> karaoke favourite, Samantha Fox. Touch me. Hi, I'm Richard. And I'm Chris, and we're from Bell and Sebastian, and we're here at the Oxfam music shop on Byers Road to have a dig through the vinyl. Easy lover. I remember the first gig I ever went to was Shawadi Wadi in Perth City Hall. I just got a turntable again a little while ago and I um, was teaching my son, like, you know, like, old mechanics. This is how it works, he goes round. <laughs> Can I download it? Not really. <laughs> you can put it in the bin if you want, but that's about it. And this is an old favourite from when I was probably about 12 years old. Uh, the Bell Stars, um, Sign of the Times. I was thinking I didn't know this, and then the, chor yeah, and then yeah. the, and then the chorus came in. Yeah, I know it. But yeah, I just loved this one as a kid. I loved it. And, and the whole, like, they're such a great band. On top of the pops a lot and stuff, you know, that's, that's where you get all your info. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't got a clue what, what's in the, in the charts, so it would be kind of silly if I was bothered whether we were or not. <laughs> in general, I would say I'm always looking out for 60s jazz stuff and 60s soul things. And then when I'm on tour with the band, I like looking for local records wherever wherever we are. I always like to kind of try and find something that you maybe wouldn't find anywhere else other than sort of in the place. When I was a, a kid, my parents were quite into the sort of late 60s, early 70s folk stuff. Obviously, I was pretty fascinated by the sleeve as well. It's a pretty amazing piece of like sort of 60s graphic design. It's more pop music as well. Just blue vinyl, do you know? Beautiful. Door. When's that from? Blue vinyl, so a bootleg. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, excellent. The Hancock. <laughs> someone's, someone's offloaded their Chris Rea collection. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been Chris Rea himself. <laughs> yeah. I do a DJ night where it's all singles, so I'm always on the lookout for seven inches to play. It's uh, Cozy Powell. It used to be a lot of the time when I was like digging for records, it was really just records with drums that I, that I was looking for. I'm quite happily just like listen to a break over and over again. Yeah, I've not got proper storage in the house for the LPs, so they're just all in a lock-up at the moment. I just, like I say, just kind of use the seven inches for DJing at the moment. I need to get shelves up and get the collection moved back into the flat and maybe think about downsizing a bit. So Oxfam might be the, benefic <laughs> the beneficiaries again. All right. Thanks very much, Oxfam Record Shop and Byers Road. You get some amazing records. Really interesting boots. stuff. Yeah. And the money all goes to fighting poverty. Exactly. So thank you very much. Run! <laughs> <laughs>